I'm going to go public supporting impeachment. I have no choice. He has to go. He has to go. Run again. You'll get your brains beat in. You just heard from a close Trump confidant, Roger Stone, who apparently was not too happy about Trump and the fact that Trump refused to pardon him after the January 6th riots took place. Now, Roger Stone, of course, is being investigated for his involvement in the January 6th Capitol riots. But even though Trump had pardoned him previously for his other criminal charges having to do with obstruction of justice, lying to Congress and tampering with a witness, he just didn't pardon Roger Stone after January 6th. Now, for those of you wondering, well, where is that footage from? I should note that it was filmed on January 20th of 2021. So obviously a few weeks after the January 6th riots took place. The footage was released on Saturday this past weekend by Danish filmmaker Christopher Goldbrenson, whose team was granted permission to shadow Stone for more than two years, including during the months when Stone was working behind the scenes to aid Trump's attempt to overturn the 2020 election. You know, I remember Cenk when Roger Stone was the topic of a Netflix documentary that really painted him as this incredible genius. And I I feel like the filmmakers behind that documentary really need to question whether they genuinely think he's a genius, especially since he was helping to conspire this insane plot to overturn our democratic process and just hand Trump victory even though he didn't win the general election and he had like a film crew with him the entire time the entire time yeah. genius genius well so remember trump gave him a pardon on the first crime and he was supposed to serve 40 months in prison which is a lot uh and so if this is on january 20th this is shot then so then uh, uh stone knows trump is officially out of office Biden officially is in office, he will not be getting a second pardon for the crimes of planning a coup basically against the United States of America. But I think that's where it gets weird because he says he would support impeachment against Trump, but impeachment is for the same crime that you're mad you didn't get pardoned for. So how could you possibly support an impeachment of Donald Trump on that when you yourself was involved, were involved in that plot? And maybe it doesn't have yeah. to make sense. It's right wingers, right? Well, uh-huh. can I jump in? Because yeah. I, I, I've been thinking about that a lot as well. And I just think that it's more of this bitterness, this this notion of if I'm going to go down, I'm going to make sure you go down with me kind of attitude. I think that explains it. And what what's amazing to me is just like the sense of entitlement that everyone involved in January 6th both had and continues to have, right? So for instance, for all the people who are currently behind bars due to their involvement, those who have been charged with sedition, they really feel like they're the victims. They feel like they were completely entitled and able to overturn the election on Trump's behalf with no consequences. And the same goes for Roger Stone. Roger Stone really thought from the from the get go that if he got involved in this, if he helped Trump essentially overturn the election, he was gonna be safe no matter what because his, his daddy was gonna come in, protect him and pardon him. And when that didn't happen, he was outraged by it. So I think he's just thinking to himself and to whoever he's talking to on the phone, well, if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna make sure he goes down with me. Yeah, so, but the, being entitled, that makes sense for all the other right wingers who got involved in this plot and they think that they're entitled to win even if they don't win. Because they think America is not a democracy, America is me, a white right winger. So they genuinely don't even understand what we're saying. But not for Roger Stone, Roger Stone is one of the guys who plotted this coup in the first place. And look at how panicked he sounds. He's really, really mad that he didn't get pardoned for January 6th. Hey, wait a minute, it's been like two years now. Has anybody charged Roger Stone? Has anybody even talked about charging Roger Stone? No. So what was he so worried about? That's what's amazing. That goes to your point, Anna, that he's not a genius. First of all, you arrogant clown. Why did you allow a TV camera or a camera to follow you around everywhere recording everything you said? Now he's really mad about it. 
well, you have only yourself to blame. What an incredibly arrogant thing to do. And then he thinks, oh, okay, I, I can just do this coup plot. And, and like you said, Anna, it's okay, uh, Trump's gonna win because we're, if he wins, he wins. If he loses, we just do a coup and then we win again, right? But it, you, th but then he's wrong though. He's wrong about so many things, including having the film crew follow him, but also about that the Democrats would hold you accountable and they would hold Trump accountable and they would actually convict him after impeachment. Legendary Roger Stone, who theoretically knows all about politics, didn't know how incredibly weak the Democrats are. That is weird. So, no, these guys are all overhyped. I think all of them are paper tigers. And the only thing the Republicans really have is other than hatred, and that's the usual demagoguery that they use. I, I think they've got to have files on folks because Roger Stone's the only guy in the world who could bully Donald Trump. Donald Trump mows down everybody else. And forget the past when Roger Stone actually said this a couple of years ago. But how about right now? Donald Trump has heard Roger Stone call his daughter an abortionist bitch daughter, not right. wife, but daughter of Donald Trump. And now you just heard him say that he was gonna basically help to beat Donald Trump's brains out. And Trump hasn't said a word. So it is whatever Roger Stone has on Donald Trump, it, it's thermonuclear. Um, because yeah, I think, Trump is so I think, weak with him. I think that's not a bad theory because I mean, Trump doesn't seem to be very loving toward his kids with one exception and that's Ivanka Trump. And uh, the Roger Stone video that you referenced, Cenk, is pretty freaking vicious. And so I, I actually pulled that up. I, I want you guys to take a quick look at that and then we'll discuss. It's an IQ of 70. He's coming to Miami. We will eject him from Miami very quickly. He'll be leaving very quick, very quickly, very quickly. He has 100 security guards. I'll have 5,000 security guards. You want to fight? Let's fight. You, you and your abortionist bitch daughter. Okay, aside from the vitriol, aside from the comment about Ivanka Trump being an abortionist daughter, I, I, also, I just got to point out, how hilarious that clip is. Just like tough guy Roger Stone with like a Richard Nixon tramp stamp talking about how he's a big tough guy who's got more secure. I mean, it's just, I just think it's hilarious. Like that video I wanted to show you guys also for comedy's sake. Um, but one other thing I want to note is Ivanka Trump is on the record as being anti-abortion. In fact, during an interview in 2020, she's like, you know, I'm anti-abortion, unapologetically so. And Roger Stone, you know, presenting himself as this uh, anti-abortion pro-life individual, like he cares about lives so, so much. Except for other portions of this documentary uh, where he's filmed talking about, you know, killing political opponents. Let's just take a quick look at that. The voting, let's get right let's to get the right violence. To let's get right to it. Shoot to kill. See him, see an Antifa? Shoot to kill. Yeah. Him. Done with this boy. Roger Stone. Famously pro-life, as you can hear from the clip we just showed you. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, of course, Roger Stone doesn't care about abortion at all. And I don't know what Ivanka's real position on abortion is. Uh, but he didn't say that she had a position on abortion. He called her an abortionist. That means someone who got an abortion. Um, and so I don't know if she got one or not. I have no idea. And I'm not the one making the charges. Donald Trump's best buddy is. So. Certainly a question Ivanka should be asked, but much more importantly, it's a question Donald Trump should be asked. Did your daughter have an abortion? And do you think we should put her in prison for it? Because your best buddy, the guy you pardoned earlier, someone who's in your mob, in your criminal enterprise, says that she's a, your abortionist bitch daughter. So what does he mean by that? And by the way, are you angry at him? Isn't it weird that you're not angry at him? Do you agree with him? These are all legitimate questions that should be asked of Donald Trump. Yeah, absolutely. And you're right. I mean, Donald Trump has incessant diarrhea of the mouth. Like he will go after anyone who slights him, even a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, he's still going after Jeff Sessions, poor guy. 
Um, but when it comes to Roger Stone, it is amazing that he's just kind of letting him say his piece without any type of pushback whatsoever. So we'll see how this develops. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.